Hello everyone, this is Darth New Player picking up the next episode of Let's Play Nice Old Republic. Yes, you honey, what's on your mind? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Whatever is causing you to stop and think and disrupt our mission. Are you doing alright? I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. Ah, uh, yeah, what's wrong? Maybe you just need some more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the Council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. <laughs> I cannot afford to look after you all the time, though, but if you happen to slip back, I'll do my best to intervene. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust. Alright then, can't ask for much more than that. Zerka representative, what stuff do you have for sale? I suppose you've heard about the destruction of Taurus, yes? Awful business, that. Zerka lost a fortune there. Not that the Sith care. Mm -hmm. what, is, uh, what is Zerka doing on here on Korriban? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative head. If you Yes, don't care. What do you have to offer? You certainly. Construction kit. Ooh, life support. That's a high, really high end uh, med pack. Ichani. And Sarkoon's light battle suit. Oi! Everywhere you go, there's something really awesome to buy. Kraith holy battle suit. Powered battle. Uh huh? So much good stuff to buy, but not enough money to buy it. Verpine Ocular Enhancer. Alright. Heavy targeting options. Oh, jeez. That has candor written all over it. Demolitions plus six. Plus two. A Sith Regenerator. Hello, that caught my eye. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's good to know that every single shopkeeper I find has something. So, uh, every single shopkeeper I find has a bunch of good stuff that I need that I need to buy, or want to at least. But I only have what. Not almost ten thousand credits, and the main thing I want to buy is fifteen thousand. Yes, uh, that's my ship, the Ebonhawk. Yeah, it's mine now. Uh, hand what over? Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, he's dead. I stole the Ebonhawk from him. Mm, I may have, but what's it worth to you? You got it, but I just need to know the codes. All right then. Thousand credits for the code red forty seven. Okay, Johnny. Yes. What do you need? How may I be of assistance? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like? How did you come to be a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yes. Please continue. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. Mm hmm And where did you did? Where did you live? The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Uh-huh. Did you... How did you meet a Jedi, then? Did you then gain entrance to the Order, then? Or what happened? 
When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Mm -hmm. So, enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi War. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Agreed. Agreed. I agreed with everything you said. It. Mm, no, I don't want to play, play bizarre. Actually, yes. No. Do I not have a deck? I don't have a bizarre deck. Yes. Everyone knows about the Ebon Heart. Is there something you know? Anything, uh, hmm. Is there any, anything interesting going on here? Uh huh, so what do you. No, okay, he's not telling me anything useful. Come on. Don't let it start. A Rodian, a random citizen, and two pilots. <laughs> no, Greetings, no. friend. Up. Does everyone know here about the Ebon Hawk? In a small colony like this, everyone knows everyone's business. Crap. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. And out of the way, Starport is a good place for uh, privateers. Not saying you are one. Mm -hmm. I'm not a smart if that what you, that's what you are hinting at. Wouldn't make any difference to me. Just wish I had a ship like that myself. Business is steady here with the Sith, but it's a boring haul. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, who cares about them? I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Mm, uh, digging up? What have they been digging up? Weird artifacts. Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith, and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been settled for a short time. So says you. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left or something. Those tombs are really important to him. So hmm. that, that makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. Uh-huh. Uh, where exactly do you take these things? We used to haul everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. Mm-hmm. Do you have any of these artifacts with you? No, we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. Blast. Uh, how, where exactly would you... Oh, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll just go. Interesting. And there was a crate back here. That's what I saw. 150 credits in a random crate. Awesome. Starforge, Bastille Tarth, Corbin, Kendra's John. Unfinished business. And that's not anything that I didn't already know. And that's the episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of these. Leave me a comment in the comment section below or on Facebook or Twitter. And I will see you next time.